Hello Aries, welcome to your October 2023 You versus them reading. This is your side. This is the person that you think about, person on your mind, person you want to know about on this side. If you don't have anyone that you want to know about, that you're thinking about, don't watch this reading. It's not for you. And then you, someone will complain that, you know, that I don't have anybody or I don't want this person, then don't watch it. If you don't want someone, if you're not interested, do not watch this reading. Okay, in the middle will be the mutual feelings that you feel for each other. Okay, so let's see here. Let's start out with your thoughts about this person that you are interested in and wondering what's happening with them. What's going on with them? Okay. We have here, ooh. So, you're thinking about, maybe you're stuck in your head about this person. You're really doing a lot of thinking about them or maybe they're stuck on their head too about you. There is, um movement here someone wants to move something forward quickly here okay cancer energy and we have it oh because this has been someone's been really stubborn look at this this is actually the four of pentacles for, you look at it, you think it's a king which i mean it could be but this is someone's holding on either they're holding on to you or they're being really stubborn about something and they're not budging here stuck in their head wants to move but not moving Okay, we do have someone that could have been lying, cheating, or could be just holding back. It feels more like a someone holding back from how they really feel. Not expressing themselves in their head about it, but not expressing their emotions. So let's see about this Eight of Swords. We have here, ah, we have the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So who's waiting for who to make a move here? The King of Swords is, is like contemplating the next move which could be this person okay yeah they might want they want to um got the anchor so they want commitment here they're thinking about how they can make a move here to maybe bring this connection back around or, or into a commitment here okay king of swords what about the chariot this fast moving energy this is super fast moving energy let's see we have here the seven of wands it seems like someone wants they want to fight for this connection or maybe this is your thoughts about wanting to fight for this connection this is your thoughts about them but i'm feeling like their energy is is taking over here like they're i don't know so maybe you're both feeling it because it's their energy that i'm feeling i'm, I'm getting pulled over to the side okay let's see we have it. You're making a decision here. Trying to balance things out. Two's are always decisions too. Okay, and then we have here the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. Your thoughts about them, these are this is your wish fulfillment here, but you don't trust it. You don't know if they're hold they hold back too much. I think that's the whole thing. This person does not open up, probably doesn't say anything. They probably show a lot of affection maybe at times, but they don't tell you anything. So let's see what their thoughts are about you crazy i was trying really to get your thoughts about them and, it's, and they were just taken over <laughs> so if that's a that sounds familiar to you with this person there's definitely your person okay let's see we have here three of wands they're waiting their thoughts are, are to wait for something to happen here waiting for right timing maybe oh they have the nine of cups for you Okay, you both have the wish fulfillment for each other. And they actually want to speak their truth here. They want to open up. Or they want to get to the truth. Let's see. We have on the bottom here. Six of Swords. Okay, they're thinking of moving away from something. Maybe to come towards you. Or they need to relocate. Maybe they're trying to... Maybe they want to move closer to you. Maybe they're at a distance. Maybe they want to move closer into your area or closer into your town or something. Or maybe even your country. Maybe you guys are in different countries. Okay, let's see here. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? We have here, oh, we have the Five of Wands here. There's. They might be thinking about competition or argue they're maybe they're saying oh i don't want to argue there might be quarrels or ar arguments when you get together or they might be thinking about what is the competition like okay let's see nine of cups we have here the queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn okay they also could be trying to uh, work on their finances at this time focusing on their pentacles their coins Ah, cutting something else though. These are like the 
florist shears. So this could be someone could be working in their garden. They could work in a florist shop, have something to do with flowers. If that makes sense, if that makes sense to your about your person here. Queen of Pentacles, let's see. But they also be planning on cutting something out. We have the Six of Swords, we have the the so Ace of Swords, and we have the Scissors. So they're definitely cutting something out in order to maybe make this happen. And we have here, this is the Devil Energy. Ooh, they might be cutting out a Capricorn. Or they could be working on cutting out a bad habit, addiction. Well, look what's showing up on here. We have the Knight of Pentacles coming out under. The, they might be planning something to come towards you here. Slow and steady because that showed up there. But yeah, they're, so they're dealing with some kind of energy here with the devil here that they want to remove, cut out, or, or speak their truth about. If they have an addiction, they might want to tell you about it. Or if they have something that is interfering, they might want to tell you about it. It also could be fear. It could be obsession. It could be jealousy. It could be anything. It could be a Capricorn. Or it could be, um, yeah, it could be anything. So they might be want to tell you the truth about or want or tell you they need to cut something out here. Okay, now we have here the Four of Pentacles on this side. Holding on, keeping something to themselves or not wanting to let you go. Okay, so now let's do your feelings for them. What are your feelings for them? Ooh, this is a painful ending. This hurt. Losing this connection hurt. And now it it brought you into a, a single energy here. You went from a couple to single. And also it might be bringing you in prosperity though. We have here justice. Okay, your feelings are you want justice. You want balance. Um... This hurt. Look at this. We have three of swords. It could be a third party situation that came in between you guys. Now, third party could be that someone cheated. It doesn't have to be. It could be anything outside the connection. If this person has an addiction, it could have been an addiction. If they have jealousy, it could have been the jealousy. If fear, that could have been that would have been a third um, party. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be distance. Um, anything. Money. Okay, let's see. Always oh, working. Let's see about this Ten of Swords. Why is it Ten of Swords here? Let's see. We, ooh, we have the devil. That's it. You probably cut this person out because of whatever this devil energy is. Of course, it could be a Capricorn. But it feels like something ended because either a Capricorn or someone's addiction or something here. Because you have, they're cutting things out with the Ace of Swords with the Devil. You have the Ten of Swords. You're probably the one who ended this because of this energy that coming from them. Okay, and then that made you into a single energy here. But it might also, you focused on your work. You might be doing quite well with your work now. We Hey, look at this. You're doing something alone here. You're And you're finding yourself, it feels like. Almost feels like... Although this was a bad thing that happened, almost felt this brought you into finding your true self, going deep within. Maybe you facing your own dark shadow here, dark night of the of the soul here, Virgo energy. But this is going within to find to find your light, to find what you need to do to heal here. Because you put they hurt you bad. You probably ha just went into yourself here, and that was a good thing though. Let's see. Now there's justice here. You feel that you oh something. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, we have the two of swords. Okay, so you, this is in reverse. So you're no longer undecided here. I think you know what you want, but you want this to be fair. You want this to be balanced. And this might surprise someone here. Here's something shocking coming. Maybe you're going to surprise them with something about this third party. Aries Scorpio energy. Okay, let's go over to this side now. What are their feelings for you? What are the feelings for you? Ah, the magician. They want to manifest something with you. They have all the tools they need to manifest something with you. And they're going deep with inside too. Or they could see, or they could realize that you're doing this too. You might be both learning something here to find out more about yourself. Understand yourself better. Six of Wands. Their feelings are they want a victory with you. And we have judgment coming back around. So they're planning to come back in. Trying to make things work. 
Let's see what happens here. Okay, what about this magician? Why is the magician here? Aries, Aquarius energy. What's going on here? We have here... This is the Two of Swords. They have the Two of Swords upright. You, it's weird. You have the Two of Swords in reverse. You both have the Hermit. Okay. You both have the Devil. Yeah, you guys are sort of, you know, mirroring each other here. But now they're undecided about how maybe they have all the tools, but they're not sure how to do this or what to do. Or they don't have all the answers, though. They have all the tools, but they don't have all the answers. What about the Hermit? Ooh, the Ace of Swords again. Both decks, this person really wants to tell you the truth. And they want to cut something out. They're going deep. They're figuring things out. Now, what about the um, Six of Wands? We have here. This is the Ten of Pentacles. They want commitment with you. They want it all. Commitment. Probably prosperity here. And we have here the Nine of Cups. You are their wish fulfillment. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to make this work. Okay, now let's go over to your side. What action might you take towards this person? What action here? What's the action? What's the action jackson going on here? Let's see. We have here. Ooh, you want to heal this. Okay, that makes sense. You might also be traveling, relocating, moving or something. Um, but you definitely want to heal. This is like the three of swords with the... The four of swords is the three of swords with the ace of swords. Speaking your truth, cutting things out, and healing the situation of the three of swords. We have here the king of swords. Speaking your truth. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, energy. But you want to speak your truth and you want to have justice here. You got the sword of truth there. We have something with a guitar. Maybe someone plays in the band. Someone plays a guitar. Um, let's see. I have the king of swords. Okay. Something wise information communication with the owl here white owl to purity so we have here the five of pentacles right now it feels like you you want to do something but you don't want to be left out in the cold you don't want to be abandoned with the situation so i don't think you're making a move yet Ooh, you have the magician too so you have all the tools you need to do what you need to do here all right, you both, boy, you guys are mim mimicking, copying each other, whatever it is. Well, I can't, I did so many readings now, I can't talk. So the Four of Swords, why is the Four of Swords here? Ooh, the Two of Wands, trying to make a decision here. Okay, so you're at the, you know, crossroads right now. You're trying to heal this and you're not trying to decide what you need to do here. And we have, um... You could be consulting spirit, too, for the answers. We have here the Seven of Cups. Option, choices, confusion. You're really not sure what to do at this point. Okay, what about this Five of Pentacles? Hmm. You're wondering if you make an offer, may, will they accept it? But they do make you happy. You have the sun here, Leo energy. This person makes you really happy. Okay, let me just move this out of the way. Okay, let's go over to their side now. And what action might they take towards you? Let's see. Ooh, temperance. They want to balance things out. They're being patient. They want to balance things out. They're trying to figure out how to make this work. They're doing a lot of thinking. Okay, Sagittarius energy. Then we have the moon in reverse. Okay, so maybe secrets are coming out now with the moon in reverse. This could be also maybe hidden emotions are no longer be hidden. This also could be maybe someone's not so sure about their intuition, though. Um, maybe not trusting it. Pisces energy. Let's see. We also have the hangman. Yeah, they're waiting. You're both waiting for something here. They're waiting to gain a better perspective. This is Pisces energy. And we have, oh, we have the ending. Okay, maybe something else has to come to an end before this person could, maybe they have to end something else in their life before they could come towards you. Okay. Or maybe they just went through another painful ending. What about this temperance? Why is temperance here? Okay, so we have the five of swords. There's some kind of conflict in this person's life. May, I feel like they had to end something and walk away from something because it's not serving them. Because this is someone walking away 
and then we have the rainbow here so that's what they're doing they're working on that trying to figure out how to do things in the best way possible and why is the moon here where we have two Pisces next to each other too let's see we have here this is the king of swords okay you both have the king of swords all right so you're both um trying to you know look at this in a very logical way here with the king of swords speaking your truth okay we have here oh we have a fox Could try and be a little sly slick i always see the fox as a magician too i think this person is just trying to manifest something here okay i don't feel like they're being trying to manipulate you i think they're just trying to be very slick about doing things the right way what about this hangman and we have here the eight of cups yeah they they're waiting because they need to walk away from something that's no longer serving in order to come to you so they might be closing up a relationship or something in order to come towards you and then we have here this is the hermit yes they're going with them virgo energy they're trying to find the right way to do things and come to you correctly got the hermit going search they're doing a lot of soul searching trying to figure things out here trying to heal something okay they're doing they might be doing some research too or trying to figure things out that way okay let's see searching for answers is definitely what they're doing going within and searching for answers now let's see your mutual feelings for each other we have love you both feel the love here strong love connection and then we have make the effort you both want to make the effort and then we have a letter there's going to be some form of communication whether it's a letter a text an email a phone call there and you guys want to be alone so you could discuss things figure things out just the two of you and no one else involved okay now let's see let's see what's going on with this king of swords i didn't realize we have the king of swords twice on on your side okay so we have pleasure committed career okay so someone uh, might be very committed to their career it brings them pleasure so that might be an obstacle that came in between maybe someone put too much maybe you did or they did put too much time in the career and not in the relationship now we have freedom memories phone call okay they're planning on calling you and some and speak about their they're maybe they're getting free here they're trying to break free or they're talking about their freedom and because of the memories of you now why is the king of swords here we have closure the x fear okay so the king of swords here is having some kind of fear some kind of doubt maybe about closing something with the x all right that might be for you might not only take if it resonates now what about this king of swords regret drama the end okay so this king of swords here regrets the drama that was caused in the end of your connection maybe so that's why they're probably making sure that this connection they're doing here they do it properly so it doesn't haunt them okay so let's see what signs we have here for aries what are the signs that you could be dealing with aries let's see we have virgo wow and it's weird i just looked at this hermit and this hermit it's so weird my eyes took me and then virgo came out strong virgo here then then this placement your chart plate multiple charts past present and future we have virgo cancer scorpio pisces all the water signs a lot of emotions pisces again of course pisces is twice right next to each other here too and the moon came up a lot aries your sign okay so we have here virgo cancer scorpio pisces pisces aries now we'll do the letters we're going to do 11 letters for initials first name last name if you get both someone's first and last name and they have a middle name you know that middle name get that initial also all the better past present future also your own initials u f p i would laugh at those ufo <laughs> okay ufp g p k h q k q 
Z. Okay, the letters we have here today are U, F, P, G, P, K, H, Q, K, Q, Z. Now we'll do 11 or more names. Let's see what names want to come up. What are the names? I oh, got more than enough, I think. Okay, so we have here Brittany. B-R-I-T-T-N-E-Y. Okay, and then we have Cindy with an I-E. We have May, M-A-E. Um, Dozy, D-O-S-E-Y. Jack. Carlin, K-A-R-L-Y-N. Amy. Yvette, Y-V-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. We have Lizzie. Kirsten, K-I-R-S-T-E-N, Stacy, Stephen, Amna, A-M-N-A, Teresa, Rachel, and Chatina, C-H-E-T-I-N-A. So we have three, six, nine, twelve. 16 names. Wow. Okay, so those names. Now remember, guys, these are general reading. They're not personal reading. Please just take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. There might be that missing piece, the missing link, the, the part that clicks everything together for you guys. All right, and at the end of each one of these readings, I always give you the link to the previous reading. So when the thumbnail comes up, just so click on the picture, and I'll bring you right to that link. And that will be the October reading for the primary issue in your life at this time. Okay, so if you want to click on that and check that out, please do. If not, I hope to see you in the next reading. But I'm so glad you were here for this reading. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. And um, I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.